what's up everyone that please share my here on my channel tech god and i don't know if this is your first or the or the hundredth tutorial on this topic but this is the last one because now you don't need any other tutorial for this topic so what you need to do is to download a software called media encoder from adobe not all the softwares are free from adobe so just grab it you have the chance i'll post the link in the description install it and launch it and click that plus button on your left to import your video clip and once you're done with that, on the right you see your presets panel. So select the GIF from that and drag the first preset over to your videos. Well, this is the, I only have one video, so I drag it over to that and change the file name or the output folder if you want. So in my case, I'll change it to desktop, pretty safe, and click that green button on top right. So it'll take about 10 to 15 say, seconds depending on the size of your clip or the length and you can test it out in many other softwares so like this today we'll be testing it in paint so it doesn't move because paint only renders the first frame of your clip so that's the size and now open it in any image viewer so for windows 10 it's photos and you have your moving picture this term might sound a bit incorrect at first but this is exactly what it sounds like it's a picture but it moves because the video is now converted to a GIF format well you're familiar with that actually but if you don't want to lose all that quality and all that lag that you saw the lines that were there there's a better option here in the market so it's a paid software but download the free trial and if you want i'll provide you the crack and install it it's camtasia link in in the de description and download and install it import your video and once you're done with that drag it over to your timeline and uh, there are many times when you don't have a perfect video that you want to convert to gifs and you want to make an edit here and there so in my case I'll be editing the last part that the credits to Adobe that it has so people don't know that my earlier intro was made from an Adobe app. So I'll delete that and we'll just keep the starting part. Just scrub it over and see it's the right thing that you want. But once you're done, just click the share and publish button on upright and from the drop down select the customs settings. Well the custom settings it'll you have all the all the authority to choose and choose GIF from the second menu and the interface about this software is quite simple that's what I like about it don't change anything because your high-res video will be high-res once it's converted don't change anything I don't suggest but if you know stuff you can change that and the last panel you can change the file name and the output folder so I don't want to change that and click OK and this does take some time so please be patient about it and the worst part is that it's stuck on 99 it always does that I don't know why but it does that so be patient about it and don't lose hope and close it but once it's done it's the page that it shows that it's finished you can close your Camtasia but today I'm recording with that software so I won't be able to close it now go to the folder and launch your GIF and as you can see it's such a high resolution image I mean but the size will also increase so let's check what the size will be and go to properties and it's a bit over 12 MB so yeah you can see a picture 12 MB so that doesn't make sense so a low res picture does make sense but if you like it hit the like button dislike it do dislike it and if you want to subscribe it subscribe because cool videos are on their way